Now what reasons do I got to keep on living, to keep on staying alive, staying alive, staying alive? <laughs> Number one, I'm terrified to die. What with all these near-death experiences? They don't add up. I don't know if there is life after death. I really don't. I really fucking don't. And if there is, as wicked as I am, I expect the bus tail wide open. Unless Jesus truly did answer my prayer on November 4th, 1990, when I asked him to de declare me absolutely clean and righteous from all my sins by his death and shed blood on the cross. I'm done for that. Here's some reasons I got for leaving, living. Girls, for some reason, girls like to give me hugs. I met some young people one night in Goldsboro for the first time, knew them for maybe about 20 minutes. When I said goodbye to them, I was fist bumping the guys. I got to the girl, she's like, can I have a hug instead? I'm like, sure. And her boyfriend was like, and I don't just let anybody hug my girlfriend either. either to let me know I was special. I go in the restaurants, and they see me. And whenever the girls are working there, many, many times, they'll give me free drinks, and sometimes free food, and sometimes they'll actually buy the food for me. So, there must be something special about me. Another reason I got to live. I haven't yet had those longer arms I so badly want yet. I haven't been a good looking guy yet. I haven't had this while looking young. I haven't run and danced and played and worked long enough. I haven't accomplished jack fucking shit yet. I have not got one song into the top ten list. But when you're living and you're half dead, what's the fucking point? You cannot enjoy what you got when the angel of death has got his finger up your ass and won't take it the fuck out. And we with Asperger's, the slightest of me, I, I could have a hundred thousand things going right with me. But if I got one chronic pain in my body, it negates all that is good. Dear Jesus, can I at least have a few years to live it up pain free? Emphasis on pain free, distress free, carefree, without these queer nerve sensations in my head. So that's, now that's the reason I got to live. But let me tell you something, motherfuckers. I got a hundred times more of that. Why I should fucking kill myself. Here's another reason to live. Here's another reason to live instead of killing myself. I've had people show kindness. Ladies, show kindness to me. But you wouldn't believe me. I was riding a bicycle on a late one night and this black woman stopped her car and had a baby in the back seat and asked me if I needed a ride. She would have given me one by she didn't, didn't have room to put a bicycle in the car. Here it is, 11 o'clock at night. So there was something good about me because what mother in the right mind with a child in the back seat of the car is going to stop and offer that a complete strange man if he needs to ride. And then before that, I was leaving the room yes, Tuesdays, walking over to the kids' room with this, and there's this woman stopped me and said, and she told me, if you wait a little bit longer, I can be right home. And she was eating dinner with her mother and her two really, really young kids. With whose mom? 
Sarah's mom? With her mother? And she didn't know what me and Adam. Happen? So, I so much going for me. If only I could get there, the, 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 the residual strength back gone and rap again like I used to, be happy to be lucky. I would have my five goals. Right now, the whole time. I, have an I don't know well. Did you whether I want to live. I don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't custody want to sure. in 2010. No, I was given the dog as a gift for Christmas. It was never going to be that I was keeping sugar. It's not bad. And all the restaurants that let me eat for free. I must be special. Every night of the fucking week, I have a restaurant that I can eat it for free. Every fucking night. So I, if that isn't a reason to live, I mean, think of all all the money I'm saving. And yes, I tip my waitresses, <laughs> or waiters. Think of all the money that saved my parents. 